Hello everybody, welcome back to an episode of Don't know what that was, but it happens. Let's just carry on. Anyways, this time we are going to be jumping in as another one of the Epiphany characters, and I think this time we're gonna go as... I don't even know. I don't even know. I want to go back to the Lost again. He's a lot of fun. Uh, but I think right now we're gonna go as Isaac and see if I can remember how exactly this guy works, because I'll be honest... I don't currently remember how he works. Right, so we can re-roll with Q, um, we can turn items into rot, and we can consume our blighted dice. Uh, I don't, I don't know what that means and I don't remember, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out together. We'll figure it out together. I, I do have a bleeding eye, I have, I have red tears on one half, so I'm wondering if that's increased damage or just aesthetic. I imagine it's just aesthetic for now. But uh, I guess here is where we find out what's going on, isn't it? Damn it, I was really hoping I could utilize these two to do some damage here to this guy, but didn't manage it. I've been playing Hades all day today, Hades 2. If you haven't watched that series yet, definitely check it out. I'm really enjoying it, and I have been recording an insane amount of episodes. Not because I need to backlog them, because I just because I want to. Right, Blighted Dice is not doing anything here. Aha! Aha! It's I'm 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 entirely confused. Uh, it took my tiny planet away from me, and it gave me something else instead. But the something else instead wasn't. It was two just random things. So can I then take one of them and split them as well? I I'm not entirely sure, but I'm gonna try and figure it out considering it's next elf law. So I'm guessing I can pick between one of those two items. But I don't know if I need to leave them. I don't think I need to leave them on the floor, to be to be, to be honest. I think I think I can just pick it up and do it to the item while it's in my inventory. I just can't remember exactly. It's all a learning experience with characters we haven't played as in a little while. But this is another character I quite, I quite like. Definitely tinted Isaac-esque with a bit of a twist. But a somewhat unique twist, definitely. Uh, without straying too far from what tinted Isaac is sort of meant to be. Still got that item limit, although... We do only have a four item limit, which I'm curious about. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. Um, ooh, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, the minute the items that are there, I don't particularly like. Okay, splits the items. Okay, keep going with what we've got going on right now. Thank you. Ooh, not bad, not bad, not bad. Charon's there as well. Not Charon. Do you know what? I'm going to keep fucking calling things after Hades things now. It's, we're not playing Hades anymore. It's not Charon the Burtman. I'm stupid. Right, good, good. Right, our broken dice is hopefully going to get charged up very shortly. Two more rooms. These two large rooms should do it for us. And then we can see what's going on with our re-rolling and see if we can re-roll again. I'm not entirely convinced right now that you can, but I don't know, it, 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 it's, it's one of those things, it kind of seems likely, but also I have been wrong in the past, I have been very wrong in the past, okay, we finally got uh, some of these enemies killed and able to open this up, got to admit, really not, really not a huge fan of this room, it seems to be uh, somewhat an unending goddamn task of just constant barrage of enemies, um, these little bouncy boys, I am so bad at hitting them, so they take forever for me to kill. Also, I am very nearly on 2,000 hours logged on Isaac on Steam, which is a bit of a milestone, really. Bit of a milestone. I mean, I have way more than 2,000 hours in Isaac if you count up all the um, all the hours I played like offline and like before I had a legit copy. So this is an item that we just want. Hmm. Okay. Learning. Learning. What the hell? <laughs> okay, let's restart. Because we've clearly misunderstood something here. Okay. Okay. So, I can take an item. If I don't like it, I can split it into two items. But, these are bad. Let, I, let, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and play this a little bit to try and figure out what the hell's going on. Give me some item rooms off the bat, so just so I can do some testing here. The game's notoriously bad at giving me item rooms off the bat, but 
That's a good item. But I still want to try it. If I if I do that. Oh, okay. 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 So it's it can be above one or below one quality of what you what you picked up, I guess. But we've not had a Dr. Fetus run in quite some time, so I'm pretty down with this. Also, Dr. Fetus kind of stands on its own. So we can well, we're dealing a lot of damage with it, even if we can't have a ton of other items, which I think is good for us. So I think we're in a decent spot here. Bit of a weird one, but I like it. Back off, fly. Ooh, wow, that was a... A large amount of money there. Almost enough for the shop, actually. Let's go into the shop and uh, ch -ch -ch check her out. Yes, we got enough. Thank you, chest. Okay, so these items right now we can't buy. Spawns a little orbiting uh, mini... Mini mins and increases its aura when shooting. This aura is a chance. Okay, I'm just going to buy that once I can buy it. But I can't buy it yet. I've got to charge my dice before I can buy it. Interesting concept. Interesting concept. I'm very curious about the four item limit. That seems really low. Seems hard to make a run work with four item limit. I guess we'll we'll discover that as we go. Interesting that Insta destroys those. Okay, Broken Dice is still not ready yet. Okay. Good amount of spiders deaded. Right, now we're charged up. I do see my items blinking in the top left though, whenever I complete a room. So now I can buy another item, or I can split it into two items. But I think I'm just going to buy it because it seems interesting. And... You can't see what that does at the minute. I should have given it a proper read before we uh, moved along. I guess I'll pick up this bomb. Not that I really need it, but thank you. Hello, hello, good sir. Don't know where second secret room is supposed to be here, but we should, we should really look for it, to be honest, considering. Hmm. There we go. None of these are really worthwhile, to be honest. Right. Ah, so we got to hold down and it spawns some Min Mins. Not great for us, to be honest. The holding down isn't super great. I guess I could Blighted Dice it now and see what we get. Flight, damage, tears, uh, plus two until um, damage is taken. Upon taking damage, these stats are removed and you're taken back to the starting room of the floor. Wax Wings are regenerated upon starting a new floor. We'll go with that. We'll probably lose them pretty quick on most floors, but I think it's better than something that charges up that we're not going to get much use out of, right? So now this item we can't take. Good to see. So what's what's going on with... You see how there's a wax wing behind my Dr. Fetus there? I'm confused by that. Anyways, let's go down to the next floor. We're, start, we're, we're kind of learning it a little bit. you got to be a little picky about your items, but you can get some cool stuff. Like I said, my, my biggest curiosity at the minute is just what's going to happen when we get to four items, because I'm, I'm choosing not to believe that there's four item limit on this. That seems absurdly low. Really, you're going to jump at that exact time. Hey, secret room. We like it. We like it. And the secret room is not worth much to us. Okay, uh, to be fair, actually, I could I could just grab this health right here. And I can also bomb you as well. Not without merit. Not without merit. But as for the question of the day today, as for the question of the day today, what's, what's a colour that you really don't like? Like, everyone asks what's your favourite colour. What's, what's a colour that you really, really, really don't like? I think for me it depends on the context. I think in terms of, like, like what what you see out in public like, i really don't like it when people wear like ridiculous neon colors for no good reason i mean 
fair enough, wear what you want. It's like, at the end of the day, if it annoys me, who gives a shit? Like, I'm just some, some bitch. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you don't care. But for me, I just, I'm just always like, nah, I'd never, I'd, I'd never want to wear like super, 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 like overly bright, over the top colours. But yeah, like obviously in other context is context sprite colours. I might be what you, exactly what you want, so. So let's go do the boss now, actually, and get our boss item. You're, of course, going to do that to me. This guy's going to be a pain in the ass, isn't he? Stop moving away from me. That ball is going to be a pain in the ass to hit, isn't it? Oh, man, this is so annoying. I just can't hit him. There you go, we got him, we got him. Yeah, bloody nuisance. Right, this we really don't want, but... <sighs> hmm. I guess we take nine lives. And... That's not super useful to buy, is it? Still very confused right now. Can't... I can't fathom it being four item limit. That would just be weird. I guess I'll buy a soul heart here. And then we need to find our item room as well, actually. There's still something going on, like, underneath my, uh... Underneath my item here. My Dr. Fetus. Maybe I'm supposed to use my blighted dice on it? I don't know, but I don't want to get rid of this. It's really good. <laughs> Could ruin my run, but maybe it'll like give me another another item slot or something if I get rid of it to force me to kind of change up my run a little bit. I'm unsure. Chemical peel doesn't do a whole lot for us. Right, I'm gonna risk this. I'm gonna get rid. Fortunately, didn't do us a whole lot of good. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just actually confused. We got Blood Splosion. We lost our best item. That didn't seem to do anything, though. Where what? What the hell's this, then? What? I'm so confused right now. <laughs> what the hell's going on? What? I don't know what's happening. I didn't get any additional slots. I don't know what that was, but it clearly wasn't wasn't correct. It clearly wasn't what I should have done, and it does seem like this character just has four item slots, which seems... Oh, no, 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 wait, no, no, no. I've got a new one now. I... Okay, so I, 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 am, I am somewhat correct, and I don't know how correct. So I've got to destroy this, and pfft, wow, um, I'll go with Hemolacria here, but that, no, that didn't, I'm so confused, <laughs> what's going on? This character makes no sense, when did they change him, he wasn't like this before, this seems so complicated. If I have to watch a YouTube tutorial to play your character, your character is too complicated. What's going on? I don't know what the hell's happening. But I've, I've managed to trash my entire run. Um, and only have Hemolacria left. So I can't imagine this going too hot, but Hemolacria is a good item. And I've gained one additional item slot. I'm still not really sure how. I'm not, I'm not sure I've had anything to do with me getting rid of items, or if it had anything to do with specifically getting rid of a certain item. It's happening again. You see, you see that it flashed, look. It flashed. So what happens if I do this now, then? I'm so confused. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. We're restarting again. I don't understand this character at all. I'm going to watch a YouTube tutorial because... Clearly, I don't know what the fuck's going on, and I'll be right back. Well, in the only YouTube tutorial I could find, they did have access to eight items, so I don't know what's going on. I clearly don't. 
So if I use my blighted dice on nothing, nothing happens. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. Don't don't really know what's going on here. But yeah, they in their video they had access uh, to a item slot, so I'm I'm just assumed it, I didn't I didn't watch any further because I just assumed that was an older version of the character because the video was from like over a year ago, um, and I, it clearly has been changed since then. But leaves me leaves me with a very heavy lack of understanding um, that I'm sure a few of you will be happy to alleviate me of my uh, stupidity because right now I'm I'm sure this is. Really frustrating to watch for anyone that actually knows what's going on. Right, what, what do the multi-tools do again? I always forget how they work. Hold the drop button to use. Open lock chest doors, including challenge rooms, secret rooms, regardless of opening condition. Uh, okay. Interesting. So, for example, I can do this. No, I can do this. There you go, yeah. Okay. I mean... Unfortunately, not very useful. Actually, I guess this could be useful for when I use my blighted dice. If I use my blighted dice. Oh, God. What a room. A room in which a bunch of spiders are stuck somewhere where I can't get to them. And as soon as I walk, they will uh, jump me. At least you're uh, out of your cage now. That helps. Stay back, fiend. Yeah, we've got some heavy confusion going on right now. Okay. You get out of here. Good, good. Make life a lot easier for us. And item room. You're going to give us flush, in which can we... We cannot destroy flush. I want... I, I, need, I need a better start than this. I really do. I need a better start than this. I know this is a really crummy episode thus far. But, yeah. I mean, we kind of want to keep piercing, right? Piercing's pretty darn good. We probably want to keep that. So for now, our blighted dice sits on high. It's safe. Piercing this early, especially with the speed up. Do not mind if I diddly do. Makes a lot of early game rooms and bosses way, way easier. Unfortunately, we do not get spectral alongside that. That would make it very, very good. But we cannot have the world to begin with. We have to work our way up to the world. Oh, come on now. That was a very silly hit. I'm a little out of practice with Isaac, if you can't already tell. It is what it is, though. Especially when we're using a new character that we don't fully understand. And by don't fully understand, I mean don't even remotely understand. And probably won't for the, the, the vast majority of this episode. As I said, people that know what's going on, the frustration will be heavy. Bomb, lovely. I just don't, yeah, I just don't understand why I'm starting with four item slots and how I actually gained an additional one. I, I seem to, like, turn an item into some sort of, like, green goop sort of thing. Green looking like shit. And then I used my blighted dice on that and I think that gave me an extra item pip. But I, I, I wasn't entirely sure as to how I, how I came about those events. I just kind of spammed my blighted dice and eventually something happened. So, I, I have to find the right circumstances in which to use my Blighted Dice for that to happen again. And it's probably going to take some experimentation once again. Wow, that was a, a sleek little passageway you made there. Right through the center of those two poops. Ah, oh, come on now. Honestly, just double bomb this guy to get him over and done with, because this guy's going to haunt my nightmares if I don't. Even now, he's still taking way too long. Let's get rid of all these poops. I do like the fact that I'm instantly killing everything you throw at me, though, with piercing. That does make me happy. And still dealing damage to you on the on top of that. Right, so we get this, which isn't particularly good. We can take it, and then we can go and blight a dice that. And wow, we we got Judas's shadow here, which is pretty good, but not really in the spirit of the character. So I'm not going to take it. I'm just going to take the black art plus damage here. Um. So, I can consume an item for a charge. That's what just happened there, right? But then what's this little icon sitting above my Sagittarius going on? Like, what's, what's that about? 
I shouldn't have deleted that item, I realised, but I'm, I'm experimenting. I'm, I'm trying to figure things out. The only way I'm going to, like, understand this character remotely at all, but it's probably going to make my run significantly worse to do so, so... There's going to have to be some patience. Oh, really? I did not see that red fire there. That is a shame. Okay. Good, good, good. Health isn't too bad right now. Crack that open. Ooh, hello. I shall take that. Not bad, not bad, not bad. We also got some additional bombs as well here. Clutch's Curse. This is a good one to blight a dice because I don't really like this item. Right, so. You get rid of you. Turn you into this. It's nice. That's an increase in quality. We're going to keep that. Okay. We're keeping everything we have right now. We don't have a curse on us, so we're not gaining extra stats yet, I don't think, are we? I didn't actually see. I didn't actually look if we were gaining other stats or not. Right, let's wait until this guy gets a little closer. There you go, we nuked him. Ow! I constantly hit myself there. And that didn't get you, goddammit. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. We got these here. These actually aren't too hard to get at all. We'll, we'll, we'll brush in and get these. Little pill, little pill. Not what we were looking for, obviously. Right, back to the item room. Although, do I want to do my boss first? Yeah, let's do our boss first, I think. We can actually just let this guy zoom off and take his, uh, take his plum, I think. Although, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to just charge my active anyways, right? It's not going to let me take it. Which is fine, because I don't particularly care about the plum flute. And I'd be more annoyed if it was like some sort of quality 4, really, really good item from the boss than I would be if it was plum flute, right? Unless it just, like, doesn't charge my active and just gives me plum flute because it's an active. Again, we're working things out. This is all new to us. He seemed way less complicated before this, though. Like the first time I played this guy. I'm not quite sure what they've done. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's hard for me to work out. Right, good stuff. We've done that. Right, we come here. Ooh, baby. Yes, please. We will take that. Thank you. Okay, so now we're full up on items. Now... And at this at this point, I'm not quite sure how, how, we, how we're supposed to be doing things. Because there's clearly a way... Oh, wait. This item has become... It's just gone now. I lost my piercing. But why? I don't entirely know. Did I do that on... Did, did I do that or did it just do it for me? I'm... I'm not entirely sure. Very, very good trinket. And in here we've got Mime Degree, which isn't all that great. So I guess with Mime Degree we could pop this and... Hey, there you go, we got one there. Double tapping the drop button activates parrying. Uh, getting hit while parrying will negate. Nah, I don't, I don't really care for that either. So now I can do this and I can go boom. And I can go with Nightshade or Lodestone. I think Lodestone's more interesting here. Okay, I'm kind of getting the picture now. I'm not entirely sure what the deal is with it automatically taking that item from me. I don't know if that's something I pressed by accident or what. Um, but it seems to be that you don't really have much of a choice of what item it takes. It's just the first one up in the list, which is a little annoying. Because um, it means that you kind of like, you could have your best item taken away from you. But, eh. It doesn't seem that bad. It's just a bit strange is all. Hello again, good sir. I do not care for your services at this hour. Lodestone doing some good stuff here. Lovely stuff. Bit of freezing. The sinister sight, whatever it's called, is 
doing very good. Okay, so this one, the Wicked Soul, this is the one that's flashing this time. So does that mean Wicked Soul is the one that's about to be stolen? Methinks yes. Which isn't good, because I'd like to keep Wicked Soul. I quite like it. But I guess it's not really up to me, is it? Slightly annoying. Ooh, Lordstone popping off there. <laughs> that was a funny room. Could not survive the onslaught. Ah, bugger. Oh my god. Very, very bad hits there. Unique mini Isaacs giving me some trouble there. Okay. Lovely stuff. I'll, I'll pop in here. I'll see what's what. It would be it'll be Lodestone. I can't remember what it turns Lodestone into, but I think it's good. We'll give it a go. And then here, we don't know what we're getting, so we got D100. Not particularly enthused by D100, I'll be honest. Not particularly enthused. So our Wicked Soul is slowly turning into this thing, so... Okay. I'm kind of getting the picture. I would like to go the right way here, but I know that's somewhat of an impossibility for me. Good, good little black heart to keep us going. Right, come on, magnet shot, do your thing. Can't remember how, exa how exactly you work, but I want to see you shine. So far, I've seen nothing of the sort. Black Doll's doing some good damage. Ah, oh, bad hit there. Seems my Wicked Soul is about to become this this other item. There you go. Oh, nope, not quite, not quite. Oh, stop dropping that. Keep accidentally dropping it. It's getting there. It's getting there. It's almost transformed. It just pushes enemies away from me. Eh, that's, that's not really as good, I don't think. I prefer to just have enemies suck towards each other. Okay, so now it's gone. So now we blighted dice that. We get another pip. We had a bunch of charges. Okay. I suppose it's kind of nice for bosses and stuff, though, to keep them away from us like that. It's kind of intriguing. Oh, God, we do not do much damage at all right now. Oh, I was not expecting you to do that. Yeah, our damage is not ideal right now. A bomb for you, I think. Ah, that was really stupid of me. This definitely seems like a hard character. A very hard character. So now I get Mum's lipstick, which is terrible. So I can go to the next floor and double blighted dice whatever I get from this lipstick in hopes that I get something better. So I do blighted dice one, which is going to give me this... I probably want Bloody Lust, really, because it's higher tier. And I do that again, and hope our tier goes up again. Yeah, so you can, like, double upgrade items and get some really high tier stuff. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. But I just I just think, like, you're going to be very weak for a while. It's my only sort of concern here. Ow. Really shouldn't have taken this Lodestone replacement. It's nowhere near as good, and it leads to some very inconsistent fights. It is a little bit awkward. But I think now we've kind of gotten the hang of it, it's pretty interesting. Especially the way that we can kind of, like, 
make our own destiny with item qualities. If we like get a little bit lucky, we can like upgrade items multiple times to get them to be really high quality. I think that's pretty cool. It's definitely obviously the, the, the intended play style of this character. I think it's just making the most of your charges and getting used to it is, is the biggest thing. I think one thing that I need to understand as well is, like I said, I need to understand what the conditions are for which item it picks to, like, take away from you to turn to an item slot. Because um, I'm not, I'm still not 100% sure how exactly that works, and I think that's pretty important. Uh, I don't know if it's just the one that I'm hovering over at the time of, um, at the time of, like, it's the process starting again, or if it is just completely random. I hope it isn't random, because I feel like, as I said before, it could, it could pretty easily ruin your build to, like, lose a really, really good item. And it's, like, nice to gain the item slots, and I suppose once you've got all eight like, item slots, you're not going to be losing anything more. So that's good. But maybe, maybe you can go over eight with this new one. Maybe it's, uh, as, as many as you're willing to sacrifice sort of thing. There's a lot of intriguing possibilities here. A lot of intriguing possibilities, and I think we're just going to have to wait around and play a little bit to see which is the right answer. But this butterfly is an item that I'm not particularly enthused about, so I'm going to keep it going. Um, I think I'm going to go with the old bell for the extra damage for now. It's not damage that lasts forever, but it's good for now. Fortunately, damage-wise, we're not doing too great at the minute. Oh, don't you dare take my Sin of Sight. See, this is what I mean. My Sin of Sight is like the basis for all the damage on my entire build and my the item I'm enjoying the most, and it's going to take it away from me. And I don't think there's anything I can do about it. Like, I don't know if I, if I was an opponent and why it picked that item. I don't know if that's what I had selected. But either way, it's not... It's not... It's not what I want. It's not what I want at all. I wonder if destroying another item will stop it from taking that one. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm, I'm, I'm really not enthused about this idea of it stealing that from me at all, because, as I just said, it's it's pretty a pretty big, important piece of my build, really. See, now, multi-dimensional baby we can't grab here, but that's fine, because I do want to charge this up anyways. And I think I'm going to get rid of this lodestone bullshit for now. We do get Chucky Milk and Little Dumpy. Chucky Milk's probably the best best one out of these. Because we've got that big herming and stuff. Right, okay. Let's keep it going. I, mean, I might as well do some extra rooms to get some charges and stuff going on here. Honestly, this with Herming's really nice as well, the little spewer shot we can do. Not always the most effective, but soon we won't be able to do that because we will not have our big Herming going on, which I'm, yeah, super sad about. Damn, please don't take it from me. It's kind of more akin to like a Tainted Eden sort of thing than it is, uh, than it is Tainted Isaac, really. Yeah, so that item's gone now. So now I've got to wait for my dice to be rebuilt. Now it's starting on another item already, though, and it wasn't even an item I had selected. So yeah, I really don't understand the process of which item it chooses. I think it is just purely random. Wow, that was a good hit. Right, so now I do that. So now I've got another item slot. But I, the thing is, I get another item slot, but I don't get another item. <laughs> Nine volt would have been decent there. Um, I think at this point, I'm going to go with my doll and, and trade that up into something better. Unfortunately, did not get anything better there. Damn! All level twos. That's not good. We we are rocking Catacombs 2 with three items to our name. <laughs> that is not that is not enough. Our stats are pretty darn bad. The the, the broken dice, the blighted dice, whatever, charge is too slow to make it like plausible to sort of 
keep trading up our items and get some really good ones. Three items this far in is not good. Not good at all. I, I definitely think I'm doing something wrong. I feel like I have to be. It, this can't be the way this is meant to be played. This, it, it, this would be a really, really weird redesign if this was how it was intended to play. I have a feeling I'm just missing something pretty huge. Bottle of water. Okay, okay. I mean, I ought to not be using my uh, my dice, my blighted dice, quite as much as I am. Also, that's it's probably another downside to the way that I'm doing things right now. The water spurts though could be pretty good. Not not as good as having herming though. We had herming and piercing at one point. All that was taken away from us. The fire is nice, but it's fading. See, the, this this other item's getting taken away from us now. But then we'll be up to eight items, so at that point it shouldn't take anything away from us anymore, I would at least assume. So we might, we might have a bit of freedom once we get to that point, but it seems to take a while to get up to that point. A lot of a lot of struggling to sort of reach that final goal. Seems like it's just about to change over. Maybe one or two more rooms. I see their little head. Oh, that was very stupid of me. It's okay though, as long as we find pennies, our HP is safe. Okay, like I said, one or two more rooms and it replaces. Maybe it does it more often the more I use my blighted dice or something, so like kind of the way to play it is to like not overuse your blighted dice. Cause I'm using it a lot at the moment, but it seems this this transformation process seems to be happening a ton. I guess I could reroll now in order to save the item. But I like what I get. I, I, this is the old bell, isn't it? I guess I can't remember what it is. It's the old bell, I'm pretty sure. Old bell ain't too bad. It's a bit of damage for now. It's nothing major. But yeah, not particularly pleased with our, uh, our current build at the moment. I can't really call three items a build, to be honest. But you know what I mean. So there you go. Another item gone. We gain this. So we're up to eight items now. Bottle of water's just not good enough. Cricket's body's pretty nice, I like that. And then chocolate milk I'll also change up. But like, even this, this is a cool setup, but it's nowhere near good enough. Need some stats, baby. Maybe if boss items like weren't touched by this effect, and it just affected item rooms, it'd be better. So you could still get stats from boss items. But otherwise, it seems like you're just going to be really, really severely underprepared for a while. See, like now, I don't have my dice charged to grab that item, which I kind of need. Yeah, I think I, think I am just overusing my dice. I need to be using it pretty sparingly. Because the way that I'm using it right now is just never available, which means a ton of right, a ton of items are going in the trash. Obviously, we don't want that. God, things are taking so long to kill the. Wow. Boom! Bow. That didn't kill you. Wow. Okay. Do two more rooms and then go back and get the knockout drops. I do kind of like the idea of, like, being able to sacrifice items to gain more item slots, but just starting at four seems very, very low. You kind of have to play this game the whole first few floors to get to the point where you actually have the power of a regular character. 
which is part of the challenge, I guess. I mean, if it if it sort of advertises a challenge character, then I can kind of understand it a little more. But I don't think Blighted Isaac is meant to be a challenge character, right? Tarnished Isaac, should I say? I don't think Tarnished Isaac is, is supposed to be. I mean, Cricket's body is all is already in the process of uh, of transforming. But I, I would have thought that eight items would be over that. But apparently not, because I saw it flash. So unless the flash is just like built in to the items regardless, even if you can't get another item slot, maybe. And it's actually fine. We've got minus one luck here with knockout drops. We're not going to see a whole lot of success from it, to be honest. But this is going to be a lengthy, a lengthy boss fight. I mean, luckily, knockout drops will hit on occasion, even with low luck, and do some good stuff for us. But it's not something we can, we can super heavily, heavily rely on for extra damage. Ow. Ow. I bonked him into myself, then. Take out the little guy first. He's the most annoying. Okay, good. Oh, my lord. Oh, that hit me. Okay. We might die here. I mean, that's what happens when you have three items the entire run. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. But someone's going to have to give me a bit of a lowdown on, on how exactly I... What mistakes I made here. Because this is clearly not how this character is meant to be played. It can't be. It would be so bizarre. to be something I'm missing. Make it through here at least. Pin shot. I'm, I'm gambling here. I'm gambling. Um, and the fungus, I guess I can blight a dice the fungus. And we get synth oil. I'll take synth oil. Lovely, so I probably should have taken the HP actually, but synth oil seemed better to me. Right, so we've actually got a half-decent run coming together now. We've got a bit of piercing, which is nice. Tracks of Meme Cricket's body is pretty good stuff. Synth oil for the extra damage. Knockout drops for the extra damage. That's all good. But it's like, it's it's an absolute shell. It's an absolute shell of the run we used to have. That's, that's my biggest complaint here. Like, I had piercing, herming, extra, like, 1.5 extra times extra damage on some quality 4 items. And they have perished. They ceased to exist. Oh my god, okay. Anyways, yeah, I don't know. Either way, let me know what's going on with this guy, and I'll try and play him again in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.